I feel was actually better than the opponents that Burden beat in their game. That's if fair. that makes sense. That's fair. So I still think that Navi play-wise might have the advantage, but I like Burden strategy. It's not going to get applied, but in the river, going to have some trading going on here. My nuts still has eight seconds left. Ooh. Honest feeling touch. Nightmare's going to be there. Come with me. will be able to pick up the bounty room and make his way back towards the safe lane, but. They're going to Arctic Burn right now so here. Minus is being chased. Decay is going to come off cooldown one more time. And the right click should be able to do it. He's going to, in fact, deny himself to the huge camp. Nice. And Hadouken is going to do it. Oh, it could be a trade off. Sing Sing's going to come in. And it looks like Winter River is going to drop the first blood. Great deny here by Bird United. And our side, he wants to fight. The steal of the life from Come With Me, and he looks like he's going to be able to run away Courier now joining the fray. Arsal trying to go for the kill. He will have DK one more time, but, oh, he will get the kill! The south, I think he south himself, right? Yeah, okay. Great play here by Arsal. And even though Sing Sing was part of By Havos, but other than that, it's like you don't have any alternative means of getting your health back. I guess Soul Rip is there, but it's only level one, so it's not really a huge heal one way or another. But they have a lot of way to heal. Oh, what a vacuum here coming out. And looks like Necroman's going to be in huge trouble. He does do a lot of damage before dying. Come with me. He's going to get burst down as well. Wall being expended as well. TP should be canceled. Is he going to actually TP in Sing Sing? It's going to come in immediately ultimate. And I think Sing Sing will go down. Does drop the ultimate though. Funic on the run. Looks like the Ice Blast will clip in the second time. Funic taking it. They'll go back. Heal up a little bit. Still very dangerous. Like if you make one wrong move oh. right now. Oh, Coil and ulti. On well, he's... Okay. Yeah, they, they yeah. killed him and cursed him, but they didn't actually go for the kill because they realized that nobody can get in that position. Birdie United wants to Tombstone's going to be there. Dendi blinks back in, but here comes the cooldown. Hits on all five. Where's that pipe? It's going to activate, I think. Was it even activated? It looks like it yeah, has it been canceled immediately. And Havos is on the chase with that surge. There's its Cryptify. The blast is going to be at the ready. Dendi coming on the side. Here comes the Orb and a Riker. They will get the kill. Three kills going the side of Navi, and they're pressing for more. Hindsight's 2020. I think Yules is kind of like the go-to, right? Is Yules really that good this game, though, is my question. I still think somebody wants a book on the set of night. I think Necro Book for Puck is a fine choice. Yeah, it's it's very, very good. Like, just being able to go high ground. They're going to catch out Funic here. Ice Blast going to follow done. up the Nightmare into a Roar. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a gunner. Help me. We'll have grip in about one second if they want to chase. Our style is going to cut in from the be behind and come with me. Doesn't have a teleport scroll, so he is uh, stranded and trying to do a little bit of nightmare shenanigans. Won't make it home. I say that. He's kind of just making a run for it. No, he's just playing for the rest of his team. Top lane, though. Look at, look at Necroman. He's breaching high ground on the other end. I mean, it's level 2 edicts. I'm not entirely sure if this <laughs> is going to be super successful, and he might just die for this. Oh, no. Yeah, I think yeah. this is a, a noble oh. sacrifice. That space created, though. That's getting two high priority targets off of your side of the map. Hobos being probably the Navi Arctic Burn just to give them a little bit more deeper harass. Ice Blast gonna come in. Let's see if they can adopt it. It's a very small Ice Blast pipe. Not gonna get cast just yet. And they're gonna focus on that Range Rax as well as uh, blasting both Raxes at once. Range Rax will go down. Glyph, not up. At least not soon. It's that Pugna value. Being able to hit both racks simultaneously. Oh, the thank oh, you! Oh, huge wall on top of everything else, and they're taking so much damage. Coil to fall through, and all of Britain United is just crumbling right now. Buyback from the gyrocopter and a call down, but they're just tanking it up like they don't care. And the last set of racks will go down. How did we not talk about this combo? We didn't, didn't talk the about the combo. Okay, you were talking dying about, yeah, while I was, I was talking okay. about it. My bad. Yeah, it's okay. Sorry for dying. No, it's okay, dude. That was the dream combo. Very, very nicely executed by both Funic and Sonico on top of the that The fact one. that neither of them had a blink dagger just makes it more impressive. Yeah, and the, the funny thing about that is when that kind of combo happens, they're going to get a vacuum on two more here, art style. Seeming like he wants to go in. Ice Blast is going to be thrown out. Come With Me is going to be the first one to drop here to Havolos. They're going to see another Yules come out. Sing walking forward, walks into it. He's just getting annihilated by the ward. Havolos just picks up a triple kill with just life draining and nether ward damage out onto Sing Sing. Kind of out of the game, but they never lost that fight. Uh, Burry United did press for one in the mid lane, and it did not go their way. Navi is going to break the high ground, which interestingly, by the way, bottom lane has not had T3 tower. Oh, Arcel is going to get burst down. I want to say he's being healed up. That Ice Blast, I think, I think AA got silenced or something like that, so he wasn't able to actually hit it on top of Arcel. Cauldown's going to come down, but Sing Sing's going to die much quicker than any of Navi's hero. And our style on the front line will finally drop, but they still have to deal with the Kumso in the front line. Ooh. Oh, hello? <laughs> Necro 3 doing a lot of damage, but yep. they have to sustain the urn. 
the heals, and then they're coming in with that blink dagger. Come with me, will drop once again. And they're taking quite a bit of damage here. Yeah, I think they might end up getting cleaned out, or at least... Well, I definitely agree that both of them are good too. I was just saying that between the Nether cooldown and the Nether Blast cooldown, I think that is enough to kind of push it one way. Right oh, here. they're gonna go back Well, they're just running into everything, and ooh, they actually get a lot of damage done by Burning United. I'm not sure where the Crimson Guard or the Pipe was. And the Shrag, though, he's taking so much damage. Will die to the Coil. Then he blinks in, but he's taking so much damage from Sing Sing's Rocket Barrage. He's still gonna chase. He does have Dagon. So much single target focus. You can just get stunned and killed. If he gets roared, I think he might die before yeah. the BKB gets popped. It looks like that's what they're trying to do right now. Cooldown's coming in. It's gonna hit on for oh. that. He does land the Winter's Curse on this thing with the BKB on. He's almost dropping here, but not quite. We'll be able to retreat for the time being. And the Shrek in the process. Coil, it lands on three. Sing trying to break it here. They're still trying to take a Junker. Dagon from Dead will secure that. And now come with me, walking towards the tier fours. Arc's down in the meantime, picking up a double. They're going on the melee racks in this bottom lane. Come with me, throwing a last ditch effort with his Fiend's Grip. Accidentally kills the Necro Book 3. And we're gonna see a buyback here from the Ancient Depression. Throws it an Ice Blast, but it seems like it's a little too late. Funnick with the vacuum outside of the well. Paris sitting in the well alone. No buybacks, and good game is called by Burden. Navi, they take game number one. I mean, at the end of the game, it didn't look close at all, but I think this game was much closer than what has happened. I think it's one of those games where a couple of fights that go the way of Burden, and you see a totally different ending. Absolutely. Like, maybe if they can get to their BKBs a little bit faster, but the game plan from Na'Vi was clear after seeing their lineup. They pick a Pugna very early, they pick it with the Undying, they really, really wanted to push and just aggression all the way, and it seems like...